It's vital that organisations which provide humanitarian assistance are able to operate in areas of conflict. And what um, the UNHCR are doing and uh, Aegis supporting um, is uh, so necessary for hundreds of thousands of people who otherwise wouldn't get any support. And I believe that uh, we need to make sure the international community through the United Nations, through what we can do in the European Union and elsewhere, has to make the space possible for people to continue to provide that humanitarian assistance in that zone. It's not easy and the situation is deteriorating and uh, obviously the, the real solution here is a political solution between all the different competing groups. Um, and that requires the African Union in particular uh, and the support of the international community for the African Union to make sure that it's able to get uh, the hybrid force in and to bring about a solution. But in the interim, it needs the humanitarian work to carry on because hundreds of thousands of people, perhaps millions of people's lives are at risk as a result of problems of uh, lack of water and conflict and the erosion of soil and the uh, inability uh, because of lack of security for people to live their lives normally.